Esteban Ocon is one of the hardest F1 drivers to like. In other words, almost everybody hates the guy. When I first started watching F1, I thought that Ocon was one of the most wholesome F1 drivers out there with a need for a bigger fan base. I thought that he was underrated and genuinely needs his hard work in racing to be seen by more fans, since he definitely does have the skill, hard work, and talent to be a big star in the sport. But once you start watching more F1 content, you'll start to realize that Esteban Ocon is a fucking dick. A lot of F1 fans find it very difficult to like Ocon because the guy comes across as egotistic. We can see this especially with how Esteban treats his teammates compared to other drivers. In Saudi Arabia 2022, Esteban defended like an absolute lion. He defended like crazy, pulling off risky moves and going absolutely ham with some crazy defensive moves out there that got the crowd on the edge of their seats. except he did this against his own bloody teammate. And instead of getting fans on the edge of their seats, he got the whole Alpine garage nearly shitting themselves. When Fernando Alonso and Ocon were teammates in 2021 and 2022, Ocon would always defend like an absolute pit bull against Fernando. But when another car comes across, Ocon turns into a chihuahua. We can see this again in Saudi Arabia after Ocon and Fernando kept battling it out and Ocon doing some crazy defending. But once Valtteri Bottas came close to Ocon, he literally passed through like he was playing against zero AI difficulty. Fans considered this an absolute ego move by Ocon as he seemed like he didn't want to lose out against his teammate because he wanted to be seen as the number one in the team. But for Ocon, he put more effort into defending against Alonso compared to any other driver on the grid. Now don't forget that Fernando literally defended for his life against Hamilton in Hungary 2021 to help Ocon secure the lead of the race. And now Ocon is fighting Fernando as if he didn't do anything for him. I do want you guys to keep in mind that Ocon is still a solid driver though and he came from a family that wasn't exactly wealthy and he helped his parents out by climbing the ranks all the way to F1. But this type of racing where he's not just putting himself in harm's way but also damaging the team's race result is just not the way to go. Now Ocon might be the only teammate to outscore Alonso in terms of points but let's not forget the absolute horrendous luck that Alonso had throughout the season. Bro got back bent over, fucked in the ass by the Alpine engine. Like I swear, Fernando is attracted to bad engines at this point. Now Esteban is not just disliked through his ego, but also through his behavior. In the 2023 season, Esteban and Alonso got into a collision in SQ1 of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. When these two kissed, everybody went, holy shit. But immediately after listening to the radio messages, immediate disgust from fans went towards Ocon. After the collision and the qualifying session, Ocon placed all the blame on Alonso for being in that part of the track, and this is where people started to point out his delusions. When we take a look back on the collision, we could tell that it was on both drivers with Ocon losing the car and Alonso definitely giving space, but just not enough to prevent that crash from happening. So both drivers definitely played a role in the incident, mainly Ocon if I'm being honest, but what made things worse was Ocon's reaction. Fucking idiot, Fernando. Ocon's reaction to the incident was by far the most controversial, which resulted in much hate coming his way, and I don't exactly blame other people for doing it, because Ocon still couldn't see both sides of the situation and decided to pin it all on Alonso. Like, does he just expect Alonso to just disappear out of thin air? Oh shit, maybe he does. We can officially agree that no matter what happens in the F1 community, Esteban is getting a 5 second penalty. Committing tax fraud? 5 second penalty for Ocon. You submitted your schoolwork late? 5 second penalty for Ocon. Ferrari blows up Charles's engine again? 10 second penalty for Ocon. If you're genuinely out of the loop, Esteban got like 3 penalties during the Bahrain Grand Prix. It was like 30 seconds longer. I don't know how the fuck he fucked up so bad. But that was the saddest and the funniest shit I've ever fucking seen in F1 history. Apart from Alonso's forehead picture, of course. Now with all of this penalty stuff aside, Ocon has literally turned into a meme. And that's why it's so hard to take him seriously unless he says something completely deluded after a race. It seems that hating on him has recently become a trend as well, which makes it significantly more difficult 
to try to like the guy. But this does all show that he's lost a lot of respect from fans and has to really reflect on how he behaves on track. Akon has the skill, the talent, and hard work to be in F1, but probably didn't consider maxing out his personality stats. I do think that Akon is naturally a good person and has done a lot of positive things for the sport. It's just that his ego gets in the way like the border from Mexico to the US. That shit is blocking him from being a good and likable driver. Akon can definitely set things right though, especially in the upcoming seasons and finally become a better version of himself, but there's no doubt that he's lost a lot of fans on the way because of his behavior on track and his ego against teammates and other drivers. Keep in mind that this guy is still pulling off some crazy ass fucking moves against Fernando while defending in the 2023 season. So with all of the points that I've stated throughout this video which might be deemed as arguable, we still can confidently, surely, and especially agree on a 5 second penalty for Alcon.